Your Excellencies, distinguished panel, special guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Hildi Schwab, chairperson and co-founder of the Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship, it is with immense pleasure that I present to you the Latin American Social Entrepreneur of the Year 2014 awardees. The organizations they lead are pioneering exciting models to solve pervasive social and environmental challenges such as waste management, agricultural productivity, female entrepreneurship, and healthcare. The Schwab Foundation's 30 awardees for 2014 represent the largest and most scaled cohort to date. They have been chosen from a global pool of several hundred candidates, and I would particularly like to thank the jury members and our selection partners for their crucial support for our search and selection process. In particular, Grupa Folia in Brazil, El Mercurio in Chile, Fundación Sin Limites in Venezuela, the International Labor Organization, and the International Inter-American Development Bank. Seven of this year's winners have been selected as Latin American Social Entrepreneurs of the Year. I'd also like to acknowledge Don Tice from D-Light, one of our North American winners who's also joining us in Panama. Through their partnerships with corporations, government, and civil society, these organizations serve as an important illustration of the power of social innovation. I would like to ask the Latin American awardees to join me on stage when their name is called. Javier Armando Lozano, Clinicas del Azucar. This is a chain of low-cost diabetes management clinics in Mexico. Clinicas has reduced patients' annual costs by 70%, lowered their diabetes complication rates by 60%, and significantly increased their adher adherence to treatment. Sasha Kramer, soil is improving the fertility of Haiti's land and transforming waste into a resource. Soil designs and implements low-cost technologies that are simple, easy to replicate, require minimal water, and provide safe and dignified access to sanitation. Rosario Perez, ProMujer is an international microfinance and development organization whose mission is to provide Latin America's poorest women with the means to build livelihoods for themselves. It does this through a combination of microfinance, business training, and healthcare support. And to date, ProMujer has dispersed over 950 million US dollars. Merula Stigal, the Brazilian Lymphoma and Leukemia Association was established to secure first-class treatment and improved quality of life for patients suffering from rare blood diseases. Abrala acts as the national reference point for connecting patients to an ecosystem of support, including self-help groups, government services, and experimental treatments. Patrick Struby. Fertrasa provides technical assistance and market access to subsistence, semi-skilled, and experienced farmers in Latin America. As a result of Fertrasa's support, farmers are able to improve their yields, dramatically increase their revenue, and enhance the ecological sustainability of their operations. Luis Saran, Sonidos de la Tierra, harnesses music as a tool for social transformation. Sonidos' youth orchestras are active in over 180 cities, towns, small villages, and urban slums throughout Paraguay. Not only do youth manage their local programs and fundraise most of their budgets, but many of them developed craftsman skills to go on and build and repair musical instruments.
Jose Vincente Aguevere. Dia Dia is addressing the growing problem of food deserts in low-income urban zones in Venezuela. Dia Dia employs 1,000 people and maintains a chain of 35 stores in 16 cities that stock high-quality, fresh produce. It passes on extra-load food prices for its low-income customer base by securing purchasing and distribution agreements with national supermarket chains. Please join us in congratulating these inspiring individuals and their phenomenal impact. We'd like to ask them to come on stage for a photo with our distinguished panelists. Please 